Hey everyone, this video I'm going over how to pull your Fibonacci retracement tool. But first, you would have to identify where your um, starting point is and where your ending point is. So the Fibonacci tool is always pulled from left to right. So regardless of if it's a, um, a leg that is a bearish leg or if it's like a bullish leg. So if it's like a... Um, like a leg that's going up or a leg that's going down essentially so let's use this leg for example so the swing high on this leg over here so this is the leg that we're looking at this is the leg that we're looking at um let me just make this a little a little less dark so this is the leg that we're looking at the swing high on this leg is right over here and the swing low is going to be down here so that's where the impulse leg finishes and then the price came up to retrace back up so let's see um how we can use the fibonacci to um get a better entry on this trade so to s to find a fibonacci first actually you would have to go to your this is trading view so you have to go to the left hand menu bar on trading view and we will have to find the fibonacci retracement tool so it's usually on the third icon if fibonacci retracement is not already there expand your menu and then you will find a wide variety of um, tools to use but today we'll be using the fibonacci retracement which for me it's on a first but for you it might be different so click on that now you have it selected um so we will always place the first point on of a Fibonacci on the left side. It's always on the left side, regardless if it's up or down. So I'm just going to place my Fibonacci retracement tool here. Just, just click. And then I'm going to move my cursor down to the swing low. And I'm just going to drop it there. So click again. All right. So now that we have our... Um, I'm just going to remove this leg. Now that we have our um, tool placed, I'm just going to click on this, the last point, and drag it out a little bit because price took a while to come back up. Now, you're not going to be, you don't really want to use a Fibonacci tool blindly. You want to align it with like another, align it with something else. So in this case, I want to align it with my, um, the supporting resistance so that's what I usually um, align it with but in this case we'll just align it with support and resistance so in this case price came down and it is retracing but we don't know where to enter or we don't know when it could make the next move down however the chart gave us a clue where the previous support was so usually when support breaks prices would usually come back up to retest support to see if that support holds so in this case our support holds so this right here i already drew the support so this is the support and the support lines up with our um, fibonacci retracement level which is the um 61.8 right over here if you just zoom in a little bit it's a 61.8 so if you take your short position here so we short position here because you see that this is right here is a downtrend so let me just take a short position the short position tool click on that and i'm gonna enter at the 61.8 and put my stop loss um i'm just gonna put my stop loss okay so this is a general idea so stop loss and then you can put it um let's just do something like this so this, as you can see, entering at a Fibonacci level that aligns with like a previous market structure, which is the previous support that was just broken. Um, it's better confirmation and confluence when you are trying to find an entry. So this right here is a good example of using Fibonacci retracement as a uh, as confluence. Okay, so in this. So that's like pulling it from swing high to swing low for a bearish continuation. Okay, so in this, uh, let's just go to another example. Um, I'm going to use this example. 
So we have a um a breakout or a uh, I don't know a bullish like bullish impulse like so again same concept from left to right so identify where your swing low is and identify where your swing high is so let me just identify where my swing low is so um s technically uh, the swing low will be here and swing high that's where the like ends some people um like drawing the um would want to start here but you know it's re it's really it really depends on you I sometimes would do it here because that's where the impulse leg starts but for this video I'm just gonna start from here to the, the high over here okay so I'm pulling it from the bottom to the top right over there and this move as the market corrects, I'm just gonna extend it out a little bit as the market starts correcting because you, you want to see you want to extend your levels out to see where um, a good entry is so you're a little more accurate. Okay, so now we have the price corrected here and this is the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. Pretty much it retraced 23% of this entire move. Um, now this move right here, if we took a okay, so you can see there's previous market structure. Let me just make this red. Previous market structure that aligns with the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement um, level, which is previous support. I mean, previous resistance back here. So if we zoom in and we take a long position at the 23.6 into I don't um, into wherever you want to take it and its support would be over here that would be a pretty good um, risk to reward at least one to two risk to reward so you're risking one for um, two so if you, two um, if it's a two risk to reward, you're risking one for two. Okay, so if you wanted to put your take profit a little more up, if you want to, but for this video, I'm just, this is just how it looks like. Okay, um, let's do another one just for oh, so let's do another one right over here. We have another leg, so you we spot our leg, so this is a leg. And from left to right, so let's pull it from left to right. So let's. This is the swing low, and this is the swing high, somewhere here. All right, let's zoom in and f take our Fibonacci retracement tool from the left to the right. So on this leg, the left is the swing low, and then to the swing high. All right, I'm just going to extend it out a little bit into the future right over here. All right, so we see that the move, this is the impulse leg. All right, but you don't really want to enter on like a random point in impulse leg because you never know if it might just be like a fake spike up or whatnot. Okay, so we have this. Now the price is starting to retrace. Whenever a move happens, like an impulse leg happens, usually there is going to be a retrace and I would want to enter on a retrace rather than, I don't know, like enter late and, and enter a buy on the top. Okay, so the price retraces, but where does it retrace? There's not really support or market structure here. There could be, but there's no support or market structure here. So in this case, the market retraces pretty deep into our 61.8 so you could take a buy here let's see a long position at the 61.8 um, okay and then maybe take it up to the um the previous little support that we have here in previous resistance so that is market structure I'll just mark it blue actually so you can take it up to there. If you wanted to, um, I would have just taken it. I, I don't really like that trade. 
because when, when things retrace deeper into the 61.8 and the 78.6 the deeper the retrace the um personally the, the less likely that it would continue upwards like like past these levels and upwards past this structure and upwards to like up here but that's just that, that's just like my personal thoughts um there you go so entering at a 61.8 so there's these are just three examples of pulling fibonacci so let me just recap so let me just draw something so you see something like this happening right and you don't really know where to enter so you just pull your fib no you we're not pulling it there we're, we're pulling it the fib from the left to the right so if the price is here i don't know where to enter you can pull the fib from the low to the high and then we see that there is a previous support right there oops previous support right over here at the um right over there so maybe we can take a long position anywhere from here from the uh the 61.8 or the um the previous resistance so around here and then you take it wherever the market goes and then usually the um my stop loss will be just below this support here now to see where the market might go i would use a fibonacci extension so let me just talk about ex the extension in a bit but pretty much i'm i'm done with the uh the fibonacci retracement tutorial you guys can exit out the video if you want but here is the extension levels that i use um okay so the um 1.27 and then 1.618 it's in the negatives i'm not sure why but these are the extension levels so i would take it up to the 1.212 right over here so if the market will go up if i take it um, let me just change the color give me a second if i take it from here take it to the 1.27 or the price could go to the 1.618 theoretically so this is the um pretty much the extension theory all right that's pretty much it for this video um i hope it was clear and i hope this example was less like not as confusing but that's all i have for this video